Awesome. I'm Ren. Ren? Nice to meet Very you. Very nice to meet you, Pleasure. sir. Yeah. Hey, good. good to meet you. You too, brother. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for coming, man. You're welcome. Can I ask you Yes, uh, Dennis Freeman, news for us online.com. <coughs> speech, sir. Okay. Cato, talk about what's the driving force behind your character? Acceptance and respect. You know, the, that is something I think we all as human beings desire um, to be equal to. Um, and we struggle that today. You know, it's very relative in that way. We're all fighting for equality and the ability to um, make your own way, to dream big, to, uh, to do more with, uh, and to prepare for a future uh, that we don't know about, um, and to leave something behind. And I think those are the things that actually drives uh, Cato that you may not see at first, but slowly can be revealed throughout the, throughout the season. Does Cato feel he's more superior to the other slaves? Yes. <laughs> That's why he took the job. <laughs> um, uh, and, and, and rightfully so. Um, he, this is his version of freedom at this point. Okay. Um, and as we dig deep into this character, I think you will find out why he is the way he is and what he's gained and lost through this process um, throughout the whole season. And, uh, you know, he is a... He is not, I would never call him a villain. I would always call him the most complicated human being. And aren't we all, in a way, and aren't we all gray? You know, there, we, we have a little good and a little bad in all of us. And that's what's so complicated. It's about making the decision to when we use it to our advantage. Um, and so I always tell people, well, you know, we have a little Cato in all of us because we're flawed. And that's what's so beautiful about him. Let's uh, talk about Henry. Why is he so loyal to Noah? Uh, I think he's so loyal just because Henry's never had family. Henry doesn't have anybody to look up to. He doesn't have anybody to, um, uh, you know, to lift him up, to show him what he needs to do to, to uh, show him how to be a man. Mm. And so Noah is, uh, Noah's that link there. You know, he's, he's there for him when he needs him. You know, he's lifting him up. He's showing him. Uh, showing him how he needs to handle this world and how he needs to survive. And I think that's, uh, that's what's so important is that the, the gravitas behind it is the fact that he's not just, you know, learning how to drive a car. He's not just learning how to tie his shoes. He's learning how to stay alive. And that's so important. And so when you have that weight behind it, you're, and, and somebody that's going to be there in your corner, you're instantly very, very connected to them. So... What did you, how much uh, research do you use to go into your uh, preparation for your role? I did quite a lot. I did uh, more so, uh, I did actual physical research with going to uh, the museums. And uh, we, we were actually filming on an actual museum. Uh, but I went in and actually uh, spent some time in my actual shack that I'm playing in. And uh, spent time like just walking around and putting myself in those shoes, you know, actually picking the cotton and actually understanding um, what they had to go through uh, to get to where they are. You know, it's an incredible uh, adventure story uh, that's, that's going on. And so it's something that I'm going to do my very best to convey and I'm going to do everything I can to put myself in, in, in those people's shoes. Yeah, the same thing. It's, it's reading. It's a lot, a lot of reading. And it's a lot of uh, reaching out to people who may have known an ancestor who was, you know, similar to this character or just in that, uh, in that environment. And um, I mean, at the end of the day, there is nothing you can read or watch that will ever bring you to what these people went through. Um, but luckily, we did have a crazy environment being in Baton mm -hmm. Rouge with the weather and everything right. else. And, and we also had, obviously, the slave quarters that were very mm -hmm. real and not built. And, uh, and we had uh, people that were surrounded by us that could give us a little bit of knowledge here and a little bit of knowledge there. And, and that, with the resources, absolutely helped and aided us. And then just going through the process of putting on these characters um, with the clothing, with you know, with the language, with um, uh, the the elements all put together, it really uh, aided us to bring the honesty to this these characters and bring them to life. 
And uh, it's, I think for all of us, every actor who's been on this, even if they were just visiting or even an extra, it was life changing for all of us to step foot on a plantation or to touch the wood of where your ancestors you know, touched and to be able to understand that you are rooted in them and they are in you. Mm -hmm. And that helps you understand where you come from and where you're going and the power that you, the source, where it's coming from. All right. Hey, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Yeah.